The Una Vista schools one step closer to dissolving tonight. This as a bill aimed at merging financially struggling districts into bigger ones moves forward in Lansing. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph in the studio right now. Walter, what is the current status of this legislation? Bill, this legislation passed the House and is now headed to the state Senate. If passed, Buena Vista could dissolve as soon as this summer. Meantime, parents and teachers are not waiting for the state to padlock the doors. They're looking for other options now. James Moore knows his daughter's days at Henry Door Elementary School are numbered. I just feel that the BV schools are, you know, at its end. And uh, it's unfortunate that the students are going to have to go to different schools. He's already looking for another school for his pre-kindergartner. I would love her to stay in Point Vista, but you know, hey, like I say, the writing is on the wall, and I guess it's time for the doors to close. That writing coming in the form of a bill aimed at dissolving financially struggling districts like Buena Vista. The legislation passing the Michigan State House Thursday night now headed to the state Senate. I don't know how to feel. You don't know how to feel with this. I, I, I don't know. You just don't know how to feel. I mean, I do feel sorry for the district because there's so many people whose lives are affected by this. Letitia Whitehead taught English at Buena Vista High School. She's been laid off twice in just one month. We have had some challenges for a long time, for a long time. And, you know, if the state has decided to do this with our district, there's, there's nothing I can say. I mean, whatever they decide for the betterment of the children of Buena Vista. While James and Letitia don't want the doors to close, they're moving on and thinking of BV's legacy. Sometimes, you know, with the ball bouncing, bouncing different directions. It's just not bouncing our direction. To anybody that supported Buena Vista, I just want to say thank you. Now the legislation moved to the state Senate, which is expected to vote along party lines approving this bill. We reached out to the governor, the Department of Education, the state treasury department, and Senator Roger Kahn, all of them turning down our request for comment. Bill. Walter, thank you so much.